Ďakujem. 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 Hello guys, my name is Doke and I guess, I know, that you are bored. You are bored at home because of this whole situation. So why don't you let me know in the comments below what is your favorite activity these days at home? Fortunately, I have a really lonely job which doesn't require almost any contact with people. <laughs> so let me tell you the story of today's painting. I got an email from a guy which said that he has a free wall. Yay! First of all, I thought that this is a completely free wall, free for me. But then I realized that there is a bike shop behind the wall. And I also realized that they would like me to paint something bike related something bikeish incorporate some bikes in my painting which sounded more like a commission than a free wall let me explain this a little bit better So uh, this is the wall where I should paint today. By the way, it's a really great wall at a great spot. It's right next to a main road with a lot of ice trespassing every single day, every single minute. But yeah, hey, um, here is the difference between a free wall and the commission. Both of these situations start the same. You have a wall and you want me to paint the wall, which is great. Right now comes the difference. I consider wall a free wall when you don't care about the design. You give me a full creative freedom and I can paint whatever I want from graffiti letters to characters. If you give me a free wall, you help me because just as I say, it is always great to paint at a spot that is not a traditional legal graffiti wall, which means that my painting will stay on the wall and other people won't paint over it the next day. A free wall transforms into a commission when the owner of the wall wants me to paint something specific. In this case, before the painting, I discuss everything with the owner and I paint what he wants. This is a kind of a service that I provide for the owner and when I provide services for somebody, I want to be paid for it. So if you have a free wall, please hit me up, but also please bear in mind the difference between a free wall and the commission. The first steps of today's painting will be a bit different. I have chalk over here and I'll do the first lines with chalk because the wall that I'm about to paint is already painted and I don't have this color so I won't be really able to erase the first lines this painting will be also a bit different because of the current corona situation I'm right next to a shop which is basically the only place where people go these days so I guess that I'll keep my respirator on The very first chalk uh, lines are done right over there. I'm gonna be painting this wall over here, but also this wall that way, the wall that you've seen in the beginning. It's quite a lot of work and I started with this one because there is the sunshine, so I see better and it's also better for recording and stuff.
Ďakujem. edges doesn't really help me to keep things straight almost done yeah uh, this part is much easier than the part on the other side and that's exactly where I'm heading right now in the beginning I've tried to explain you the difference between a commission and a free wall because many times people assume that we street artists enjoy painting somebody's design on somebody's wall for free because just because we just simply love painting. Also this painting that I'm doing over here is a bit complicated because I am basically painting what I want but with a bike team. It's not the perfect example but I'll get money for the cans that I waste over here and also <laughs> this is a super nice spot and I'll be happy to have my painting over here and it's true that I also got a lot of freedom during the creation of the design. Proportions are the key of success and this guy behind me, well, his proportions are a little bit off. I'm 
getting a lot of positive feedback from people who walk around me which is great but a lot of them are concerned that the painting won't stay over here won't stay untouched and that graffiti writers will destroy it well it's possible but i hope that something like this won't happen <sighs> This is a really shitty color. When I'm okay, that's enough for today. See you tomorrow. I know you. All right, uh, let's continue, I guess. Great, it's snowing. Well, at least it's not raining. In the dark, I know you are with me. Yeah. Goddamn corners that are everywhere on the wall. This part is even worse. I used to say that painting in my country can be quite a big pain in the ass because people don't like it in general. But I guess that I was kind of wrong and it depends on the subject that you paint. Okay guys, it's been two days, it's been two days of hard work. Uh, the thing that I appreciate the most about this painting is that, well there are two. The first one is that if we are lucky it will stay over here. And the second one is that I got a ton of reactions from people around. All of them were saying that they like it a lot, that it is beautiful and that's just... I just have to say that it makes me feel really good. But yeah, hey, if you like it too, thumb up would be awesome. And this is it.
idea behind the painting. You know, we live in a crowded cities, we live in a rush, and we wanna get away and from the city. You get on your bike and you go, go and go, and boom, you get into the nature which perfectly fits also to this part of the city because these are the buildings, just as you see over here. And from them, you can easily get away to the mountains. And as I'm looking at the finished piece, in my opinion, it would be better if I don't incorporate the bike. It would be enough if there is just the guy with the helmet, because you get it, you get it that he wants to go on a bike and that bike is just like yeah but it's there and yeah that's it i hope you like it